Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Does anyone recognize this spot, this couch? That's because this is my spot and my couch and we are finally home and it feels so freaking good you don't even know. It's crazy the little tiny things that you take for granted or at least Garrick and I had taken for granted that we didn't even realize because coming home just to our bed and our sheets and just the little things like our freaking toilet paper, our shower head, like I am just so, so grateful and blessed that we are able to be home right now and we didn't get severe damages. I like I can't even I can't even tell you how grateful I am. Wilder is like a completely new baby. When we were staying with Garrick's parents, he literally did not sleep at all. We ended up having to co-sleep with him and he doesn't really do good with us in the bed anymore. He just rolls around and doesn't get any sleep. So in turn, we don't get any sleep. So I am just so, so grateful. Right now, he's actually napping for the first time. When we were at Garrick's parents' house, I was having to hold him and rock him. And of course, he wasn't getting quality sleep. And normally he sleeps like a good three hours for a nap, but he was not sleeping that at all. So he was just super irritable and cranky the whole time. And it was just really stressing me and Garrick out because we've been gone for more than a week. As you guys know, we evacuated to a friend's house close by us, like 40 minutes away from us. Then we went to Tampa. Then we came back and stayed with Garrick's parents for a little while. And now we are home and I'm so freaking happy you guys i'm so happy garrick is on his way home he's been working all day i've been working all day just trying to get the house clean because coming home was a disaster like the whole house was just a freaking mess there was water damage everywhere so it like smelled weird and so i'm just trying to make it like as homey as possible now and it just it just feels so nice to be able to clean with my cleaners i know that sounds so weird and just weird but it just feels nice you know and we're just home even this blanket like, I can I missed it so much you don't know how much you really take for granted when something like this happens and it's super unfortunate but it really opens your eyes to realize the things that you do have and Garrick and I are always joking about you know complaining about first world problems but it's serious and just going through the situation that we did you know, during the hurricane, running out of formula and water and diapers and all that kind of stuff with my son. It just really opens my eyes and makes me realize how grateful we are and how blessed we are to live the life that we do, even though we may not have everything in this world. There's so many people that don't even have access to run a, running water, drinkable water. Just the little things that I catch myself complaining about, I just quickly realize so fast that we are so lucky because anything can happen and anything can be stripped away from you in the blink of an eye. That was just a reality for us and we almost lost everything and we could have lost everything. There's neighbors that have lost literally everything, their lives, their homes, their pets, everything. I truly want everyone to know that I'm not trying to sit here and brag about being able to be home and having power and water and all that kind of stuff. I'm so grateful and I want to vlog this and I want to remember this and I am not at all trying to take away from the people that have lost so much more than me and I really don't think it's a contest whether or not, you know, this person lost more than this person. I think we all have been through something in the Panhandle in Bay County and you know it shouldn't be a contest and we should be able to talk about it and verbalize it and just be grateful for what we do have for those that are still standing and have power and water and just have those privileges because they really are privileges in the end whether or not you pay for them or not like we're we are so spoiled to the fact of power water electricity just every little thing i'm one of those people that like to have things a certain way if you know what I mean if that makes any sense like I was telling you earlier I was excited that I was able to come home and clean with my own cleaners and just like little things like that that 
are in my routine that I like to do and just like the products that I like to use and stuff like that and just coming home and picking up that cleaner and starting to spray it like that's a privilege and I know that sounds crazy but just the little tiny things that you nitpick and you do every single day those are all little tiny privileges that tons of people are not able to have and it's so unfortunate I just wish I could help everyone in this world and I know that Cam and Fam actually has a GoFundMe account for all of the people that have been affected by Hurricane Michael and let me tell you there's so many people that are going without right now there's still people that are stuck in their homes there's there's just so much devastation going on right now and it right right next to where I live you guys in Panama City not even 20 miles away from me there's so many people that are struggling and so many people that are going without people that need diapers and food and water and shelter and it would really mean so much to me if you go and anything that you can whether it's a dollar two dollars fifty cents Please go and donate to Cam and Fam's GoFundMe account for those people. Those people really need it right now and we all just need to come together and if any of you guys can donate anything, like I said, whether it's a dollar, 50 cents, whatever you can, if you can, go check out Cam and Fam's channel. I'm sure it's linked in all of her descriptions. Just go and check that out. It would really help somebody else. We still have so much that we need to do cleaning wise and just getting stuff together. Like you guys, check out my fridge. We had to empty the whole fridge out. The stuff that you see right here is just stuff that we actually went and got last night. Target was the only place open because those of you that know, our area actually has a curfew where you can't be out at night and so that makes it really difficult for you know getting things at nighttime so yesterday when Garrett got off it was like six o'clock or so we knew we were wanting to come home so we had to go pick up you know a few things for Wilder to be here and for me to be here just a few little things and I think we're gonna go like bigger grocery shopping either today or tomorrow depending on how late Garrett gets off because of the curfew, like I said, but yeah, that's what those few things are. This is our freezer. We also had to empty our freezer. Garrick was so sweet. He got me like a huge bag of ice because I've been missing that a lot. I just washed our sheets, so I'm super excited to sleep in clean sheets. So I am going to check the mail for the first time since we've been here and check out our mailboxes. So this is where our mailboxes used to be and I guess they got blown away and they were able to retrieve them. All of these trees, they, you can see they kind of got knocked down. There were so many more trees. <sighs> I'm so, so excited for Garrick to get home. I'm always excited for him to get home, but I'm especially happy now because we have just been going 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 and so stressed out and i'm just excited to be able to spend some quality time with him at home where we're less stressed out and i'm just excited for him to get home i just feel so grateful i know i said that a million times but we're home anyways guys i just mentioned that i have been working all day cleaning up and stuff and the reason that i haven't really vlogged that is because honestly I wasn't really thinking about it. I've been kind of, you know, stressed out trying to get everything done just because there was a lot of water damage and stuff like that. So I was just trying to hurry up and just get everything done. And I wasn't really thinking about vlogging. But when the house is done, I will show you guys if you want to see. But it's still such a mess. And I just kind of wanted it to be like semi picked up before Garrick got off. That way it felt a little more at home. But yeah, that's the reason I haven't really vlogged too much. Garrick should be home shortly. I'm so excited to see him. So we just got this in the mail and it is the five generation picture that we took while we were in New York. For those of you that follow me know that we flew to New York to see Garrick's grandmother and all of the family. And we took a five generation picture because that is kind of rare to have five generations. I actually have five generations on my side as well and they have five generations so 
we snapped a picture while we were there and it ended up in the newspaper. Garrick Wilder, Garrick's dad, Garrick's grandmother, and Garrick's great-great-grandmother. And this was the previous five generation picture in 1965. I think I'm gonna hang it on the fridge. Garrick looks so handsome in that picture. Wilder is just screaming his head off. That picture was literally such a nightmare to take. Wilder was crying the entire time. That is just a really good memory. I just heard Wilder on the monitor right in time before his daddy gets off. So I'm gonna go and grab him right now. Hi, baby. Come here. <laughs> yeah. I think I hear Dada's truck. I think I hear his truck. Let's go see. Let's go see. Dada's home. Dada's home. Go, 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 go. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I'm sorry the vlog ended so abruptly yesterday. I lost the camera charger and we literally could not find it anywhere. But update, we found it and we're just gonna make this into like a two part vlog, like a weekend vlog kinda. But anyways, we woke up in our own bed and Garrick is downstairs cooking breakfast right now. And I'm not sure what we have planned today. I know we need to go get some things for the house because like I showed you guys yesterday in the fridge, we literally had to throw away everything. So we need to go get something to put in the fridge we also really are in dire need of a baby gate because while we were gone i forgot to update you guys while we were gone wilder learned to climb the stairs very very quickly so i have nightmares of him just falling down the stairs because we have tile at the end of our stairs so we got to get that fixed pronto and yeah i'm not sure what else we have planned but i'm super pumped because we're home pretty much the only thing we did yesterday was we just spent some quality time together and then we had to go to ups to edit and work a little bit so i think i got some clips of that and then after that it was just done for like the video was just all over the place because my camera had died Anyways, while we were at the UPS store, they close at like 6.30 and we don't have like a box or anything there. But the lady let us stay after hours because I still wasn't done editing. And Garrick was playing with Wilder outside. I was in the truck like trying to still use their Wi-Fi and she just offered. She was like, hey, do you guys want to stay in here? So that was really sweet of her. So now we have the code to get in at nighttime, which is really, really nice. Because right now I'm having a really hard time uploading and stuff without Wi-Fi. So super super nice of her but yeah anyways that's pretty much all we did last night and it was really really nice to spend some quality time together right now i hear wilder crying and i hear garrick saying no dude you can't go up the stairs you can't go up the stairs so yeah we need a baby gate right now so right now we're at target we're gonna go and get some things that we need for the house wilder needs new curtains so we're gonna look for new curtains garrick is back there getting the stroller i feel like you're always back there getting the stroller. I don't know where I would be. I'd be having to lug everything around without Garrick. So yeah, I'm so glad that he's that. here. Anyways, so we're gonna go into Target and try to find some things for the house. Look, it's a sloth like Mr. Pokes. He's just like Mr. Pokes. Yeah. I'm looking at all this baby stuff. Cause soon we're gonna have another newborn and we are basically gonna live down this aisle. I remember when Wilder was born, we, Garrick and I just came here for fun and would look at all the stuff and sometimes buy some things for him cause we just love all the Target stuff. It's just awesome that we're gonna be down this aisle a lot more here coming shortly. But who knows, this time will we be buying girly stuff or this is what we would buy Wilder, a lot of like the gray and neutral stuff. I will say though that all of the girly stuff they advertise really, really good and just everything is so freaking cute. But for those of you asking if we want a boy or a girl, we really don't care. That's obviously why we're not finding out the gender. We just want it to be a surprise. We don't care. A boy would be nice because they're just little mama's boys, huh? But again, a girl would be so lovely as well. Either way, we'll be extremely happy. Those oh, are those are so cute. How do they fit him? <laughs> oh, you don't yes, like them? Mommy likes those. 
Mommy likes those on you. So we're looking for curtains for Wilder's bedroom. I think those will work because he has a short window. Mm -hmm. We're on tantrum number five at Target. Uh, Are you being bad? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we just left Target. Um, Wilder was obviously really, really tired because he's sleeping right now. And um, he had like five meltdowns while we were in Target. So he was, of course, really, really sleepy, obviously. But we are just stopped at Dollar General. Garrick ran in to get a few things. So while he's in there, I thought I would show you what we got. We got um, two curtains, one for our room. I've been wanting to get this forever. Those of you that follow me know that. And we just could not find them anywhere. So when I saw it, I was like, we have to have this. This is um, like a pull-up curtain. It's white and I've just been looking for one of these everywhere. Plus we really need a curtain in our room. We literally still haven't bought curtains for our room and we've been there for almost a year now. We just procrastinate everything. So I'm glad we got these because we needed them. And then Wilder needed some new curtains as well because his aren't blackout and he always wakes up every time the sun hits and I'm sure it's because of the light. So we got these blackout curtains and they were on sale. They're like um, gray and his whole room is gray. We were gonna do navy but we didn't really like color match the navy so I didn't wanna get like a random navy color and it just looked stupid. So anyways, um, and then we got him some shoes because he really needed some new shoes. And these are just like little shark shoes and they look really, really cute on him. Sorry, this lighting like is sucking right now. I love them so much, plus they were on sale, so I love them even more. I just realized that Wi-Fi is now finally working so, <laughs> so we don't have to go to UPS anymore. <laughs> I called Priscilla. The one thing we forgot at Target. What? <laughs> Baby gate. Oh my god. Oh, we've been using that chair. Well, we did have service for five minutes and then it cut out. So we called and they said that they don't know when the service is going to be back on. That's great. That's okay. At least we have power and water. Come here. Mommy have. Mommy have. Yeah. I know you're not going to let me have it. I know. You could pretend. Yeah. Mommy have? No? Okay. He always pretends to give me stuff and he doesn't actually give it to me. Ha! <sighs> ah. Some of you guys may be asking yourself, well, weren't you just at Target? Yes, we were. <laughs> but who only bought one curtain? Yeah, he only got one panel curtain. So here we are with your cute little shark shoes. Cute little shark shoes. He scratched his face last night somehow in the middle of the night. We picked these up to keep him occupied, huh? Anything to keep you occupied, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we did have to go to Target again because we, we, I say we very lightly, Garrick, Forgot the other panel for his curtain, so we went and got the other one. Um, but anyways, while we were there, there was a lot of things that we ended up forgetting anyway. So it worked out, and I'm glad that we went. But we're going to go ahead and put up his curtains before he goes to bed. Oh, yeah, I'm glad we got that little mat. We got him like a little, a little non-slip mat for the bathtub because he kept slipping. Every time we're in there, we take baths with him normally, but even still, he would just slip all over the place. So we got him a little non-slip pad. So I'm excited for that. It's the little things that you're excited for. Are you excited for your non-slip pad? Huh? Ah. You're destructive. Garrett got a new knife set because 
We had to throw away a lot of our dishes when we came home. We left them in the dishwasher. <laughs> And then somehow when we went to wash them and we got back, the sewer water was still terrible, so we... Yeah, so we had to throw away a lot of our stuff, so you're super excited, huh? Yeah, look at this little guy. He came with these. Oh, that's cool. cool. We got the wrong lampshade. <laughs> it's okay, this is the original one that it came, that this lamp came with, and I like the lamp because it contrasts well with this. We can just take this back, but... It was a good idea. This is what the curtains look like. I think it looks nice. I wanted more of like a gray tone, like a lighter gray, but Garrick picked these out on camera. They look really like dark gray, but what are you doing? But really it looked like in person, it looks like a denim blue. gonna have to fix those wonky ties but I am happy with it thank you babe anyways I look a mess because I just got out of the bath and before that we gave Wilder a bath and we put him to bed he was super tired um, but he really needed a bath so we gave him a bath we got him in his jammies and we read him a book and we went he went to bed and then I took a bath and I used some Epsom salt because I've, ever since I've gotten pregnant, I've had restless leg syndrome. And those of you that have that know that it is such a freaking pain and I like the only thing that makes it go away is baths and I haven't tried Epsom salt yet with it. And the Epsom salt literally made it go away and I'm so relaxed right now because it had like soothing and relaxing stuff in it and i truly do feel super super relaxed right now my hair is such a mess and i feel just so relaxed like i can't wait to take another bath for those of you that are wondering i used the dr shoals uh i don't even know why i'm telling you guys what it is because i don't even know 100 percent sure what it is but I think it was the eucalyptus one, eucalyptus and mint, I, I don't know, but it was seriously the bomb. I will link it in the description if anybody wants to know, I'll actually find out what it is, but holy crap, I look a mess, and I'm super tired. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, as always, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!